Hi everyone, this video is to show you a little bit about how to complete um, an assignment for Chapter 2, Extend Your Knowledge in Applying Conditional Formatting to Cells, which is found on um, page Excel 121. So the first thing that you'll want to do is download and open up the student data file Extend 2-1 Fenteen Blog World. And once I open it, I'm going to need to click Enable Editing. And I'm going to go ahead and save it um, to wherever you save files. So you can see that I have saved it if you look up here in where the file name is. And I just added my name to the end of it. That lets me know that I did save it. So conditional formatting, I think, is one of the best things about Excel. It can really make your data kind of pop and make it really, really stand out. So you are going to be learning more um, about conditional formatting in this assignment. And I'm not going to go through the whole assignment. It's um, six steps, but I am going to point out a couple different things. So you can see that I have selected C4 through C16. And I'm looking for the conditional formatting button, which is here on the Home tab in the Styles group. And if I click Conditional Formatting, I have some options that are preset, such as data bars. And you can see how those look if I just hover over each of those. Just kind of gives a visual representation of my data. Color scales and icon sets. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own set of conditional formatting by clicking on New Rule. And as I said, this lets me create kind of my own rule. So for this, I'm going to select Format Only Top or Bottom Ranked Values, which is my third option. And you can see that changes to give me some different options in the rule description. And from here, the book tells me that I can enter any value between 10 and 30 in the text box under Edit New Rule Description. Um, so that would be here. I'm just going to enter 15. You do not have to enter 15. It just has to be between 10 and 30. And then I'm going to check percent of the selected range. And once I choose Format, I get my options for how those cells will be formatted. So any of the values that rank in the top 15% of the selected range are going to be formatted in the manner that I choose. And it's telling me to choose a purple background. So to do that, um, I am going to go to Fill, and I'm going to choose one of the purples. doesn't matter which one. I'm choosing one that hopefully my text will still be able to be seen over. And then I just have to click OK and click OK again. And as you can see, any of those values have been highlighted in purple. Now yours might look a little bit different depending on what number you typed in there. So I'm still going to select C4 through C16. And the next step asks me to apply conditional format to the range that uses an orange background color to highlight cells with scores that are below average. And if you do a little bit of investigating here, you can see that there is already a rule that's going to highlight those that are below average. And when I choose that rule, one of my choices is not um, orange background color. So I'm simply going to choose custom format and I get to pick my background color. I'm going to say that's orange enough for me and say OK. So now all of those that are below the average are background filled with orange. So that's a little bit about how you're going to complete this assignment. Um, some of it you can look in the book in chapter 2 to help you, but this is more about kind of extending your knowledge of chapter 2 and exploring a little bit. So it might take a little time to figure out where all of these rules are, and of course if needed you can always click the help button um, and try to find help there. Or you can um, certainly ask me for help. 
your spreadsheet might not look the same as everyone else's and that's fine I'm just checking to see that you did the things that were asked so when you are finished you are going to submit your worksheet um, for number five you are asked a question so if you would just somewhere in the blank space of your spreadsheet type a number five and then type in the answer to the question just in text somewhere in that spreadsheet where I can see it.